Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Tuesday, March 12th, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. And I'll begin today with a brief discussion on last night's episode of Dallas on TNT. The episode, of course, featured the funeral of iconic J.R. Ewing, and I thought the producers did a very good job honoring the memory of Larry Hagman. I personally thought the best scene was at the funeral with Linda Gray as Sue Allen breaking down. You know, Linda Gray and Larry Hagman in real life were very close, and I'm not necessarily sure she was acting, but I really enjoyed the episode. I thought that some of the former cast members coming back added a nice flavor, and of course, there is now another new mystery to solve. Who now shot J.R.? Larry Hagman, rest in peace. You will be sorely missed on Dallas. It will not be the same without you. Now, let's go to All My Children and One Life to Live. It is finally official after one year of speculation. Both canceled ABC daytime dramas are being revived online via Prospect Park. They will be available to on Hulu. It will be on iTunes and other online sources, and they will begin their online runs on April 29th. Each will feature a half-hour episode weekday, weekdays, and most of the recent cast members are returning. So to the fans of All My Children and One Life to Live, I sincerely congratulate you. You fought back and you got these shows back on the air. Congratulations. Last night was the season finale of The Bachelor on ABC. Poor Desiree Hartz Ford, is that her name? Or Hartsock, excuse me. I don't watch the show. Well, she didn't find love TV style, but she is coming back on The Bachelorette, which will return on ABC on Monday, May 20th at 8 o'clock. It comes one week after the season finale of Dancing with the Stars. And officially on May 27th, The Bachelorette moves into its regularly scheduled Monday 9 to 11 p.m. block. Say whatever you want about these shows. They resonate females like them, and some males too, I'm sure, although it is just not for me. On today's newsletter, I have the season-ending episode dates for the CBS programming. Keep in mind that some of the shows, like Rules of Engagement and Golden Boy, are likely to be series finales, although I've been saying for the last three years that Rules of Engagement was going to end, and it never seems to end. Over at ABC Family, they have announced their summer schedule. They will feature four new series, which are are Dancing Fools, The Fosters, Twisted, and The Vineyard. And we have a number of returning shows. And if you go to our newsletter or our website, you can get the premiere dates. Over at TCM, my favorite cable network. They have announced a new monthly series called Friday Night Spotlight. It's going to kick off on April 5th with guest star Cher opposite host Robert Osborne. And Cher is going to discuss the monthly theme in April, which will be A Woman's World, A Defining Era of Women in Film. And Cher has picked, I believe, 17 films that are going to run throughout the month that are themed, themed to women. In syndication, if you happen to like Ellen DeGeneres, I have good news for you. She will remain in daytime talk through at least the 2016-17 season. Warner Brothers Domestic Television Distribution has renewed Ellen for several more years. Congratulations, Ellen. If you're a fan of Gordon Ramsay, he's back tonight on Fox. He's always on Fox in some capacity. But his original series, Hell's Kitchen, is airing in a two-hour installment tonight. As a fan of Celebrity Apprentice, I finally had the opportunity to watch Sunday's episode. I am sorry to say that Amorosa is still on the show and we lost D. Snyder. And keep in mind that Celebrity Apprentice is so fixed. It's not real. Somebody like Amorosa, she won the challenge, so she stayed on. But even if she lost, Donald Trump would not have fired her. Let's be honest. Now let's head to Today in TV History. On this day, in 1973 was the series finale of a sitcom I used to watch. The Doris Day Show on CBS It used to air at 9.30 Mondays out of Here's Lucy and into Medical Center. What was odd about that show was it was on for five seasons. In four of those five seasons, there was a different premise. So Doris's original two TV children disappeared after two seasons. Then in 2006, was the debut of HBO drama Big Love. Now, before I depart, I would like to bring on my special guest, because I am working from home, and his name is, I think you're all going to know by now, Buster Berman. 
here's my little buddy. Here's my little assistant when I work from home. Here he is. He helps me out, keeps me company. And Buster and I want to wish you a very good day. And I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, tomorrow. Signing off, Mark and Buster Berman. Say goodbye, Buster. Wave.